Well, hello. We're seeing some pretty roses here in mid-May in our Alabama Rose Garden, and I'd love to show you what's in bloom. So I'll step back just a little bit. You see this very large shrub of uh, a very old species rose called Swamp Rose, and um, it is just in a glorious flush of bloom. Very highly fragrant rose, and we are here in our side uh, yard garden, and here we have beautiful blooms of a, a drift rose, the red drift. Uh, beautiful rose from star roses and plants that we have planted out in a container. And uh, they too are enjoying a very pretty flush of blooms. And over here is a beautiful uh, shrub of an old polyantha rose called Caldwell Pink. See here, it's putting out some very nice blooms this morning. So we sort of pan around here to our garden gate. See that we have some clematis and beautiful blooms of Christine, a large flowered climbing rose uh, that we have here on our gate, along with a new uh, garden sign that welcomes visitors to our rose garden. Let's go inside and see what's in bloom today. We are definitely seeing some very pretty blooms. We have some proven winners, uh, Supertunias. And right here are more of these beautiful Caldwell Pink Roses. As you can see, we've sort of gone coleus crazy this year. Uh, we planted out this old black cauldron and a sweet potato vine and a couple different varieties of coleus and as you can see it's filling out very nicely and blooming right beside that are some um, heirloom amaryllis that we have planted along with some on around this bed you'll see some very pretty blooms of yarrow that we have as well as a new rose in our garden it's called purple passion it's a Cortez variety uh, shrub rose, and it's beginning to put out some, some very pretty blooms. See here, we've got several annuals and perennials in bloom, and we come now to some blooms of Autumn Splendor, a beautiful mini flora rose that you've seen on these videos in the past, and they are, are still blooming. As you can tell, we have just some beautiful roses in bloom uh, this week, and Let's walk over and look at a couple of them. This is just a magnificent bloom of Gemini, beautiful hybrid tea. Uh, we have three shrubs of that, and they are beginning to put out some beautiful blooms. You'll see Mr. Uh, Bumblebee there uh, admiring the bloom as well. This is Gemini, hybrid tea. As we walk on through the garden, I wanted to share with you a few blooms of this is Moondance Floribunda, and as you can see, Floribunda has put out a glorious flush of bloom in the in the spring and really all throughout the summer. We will deadhead this shrub back after its bloom is finished, and we will be enjoying probably four uh, or five more flushes of blooms out of, out of this particular rose. It is a, a beautiful rose to have in the garden. If you love white roses, you'll love Moondance Floribunda. And, I'm going to show you a couple of other roses in bloom. This is a surprise rose. It was marked um, Ronald Reagan, but uh, it's definitely not a Ronald Reagan, but it is puts out a very pretty rose. Now, this is a bloom of Ronald Reagan, the shrub right next to it. and um, My camera doesn't capture the true beauty of this rose, but it is red on the top and then with a white reverse. and Very beautiful hybrid tea. This is a very pretty and very fragrant rose in our garden. It's a new addition to our garden this year. It's called Beverly. It's a um, pink hybrid tea and very fragrant, introduced by Cordis Roses uh, uh, here in the United States by F Certified Roses. And I uh, was just informed yesterday that this rose won Best Fragrance at the Biltmore International Rose Trials over at the Biltmore Estate in Asheville. So, very happy and very proud to be growing this rose in our garden. This is Beverly Hybrid Tea. See here some very pretty blooms of, a, of our Don Juan Climber. Puts out very lovely blooms several times throughout the growing season and 
we enjoy having this rose in our garden. If we move on down this path, I'm going to show you a, a little bloom of L.D. Braithwaite. For some reason or another, this rose hasn't performed very well in our garden, and we are uh, looking forward to, uh, I'm going to try a different shrub of it. You know, sometimes you just get a bad shrub, and um, it is a good performer in other gardens, so we're going to give it another try. But this is a pretty bloom of L.D. Braithwaite. And uh, see here, more amaryllis, and then a pretty little miniature blooms of uh, warm and fuzzy. Pretty red uh, miniature rose with a bright yellow stamen. And then right beside it is a, it's a shrubs of tiddlywinks, another beautiful multicolored rose. And these are all fed naturally with um, Annie Haven's Mupu Tea. You can find her online at Manure Tea. Dot com. And you see right behind this uh, shrub of tiddlywinks, we planted a climber called Golden Gates. It's another Cortez variety, and it is beginning to put out blooms. Very fragrant rose. Love the blooms on this rose. We have a shrub planted to the left and to the right of this new arbor. And uh, we're definitely looking forward to seeing it climb the arbor and fill uh, the garden with more fragrance and blooms. We see here a very large shrub of Veterans Honor hybrid tea. And you can see this is one shrub of roses, and it probably has about two dozen blooms on it. Very pretty, very disease-resistant rose in the garden. If you want a long stem red rose, grow Veterans Honor. And right behind me are just beautiful blooms of Julia Child Floribunda. Let's look at the some of these blooms close up and we'll very pretty very fragrant rose that we are very glad to have in our garden these make excellent uh, bouquets and cut them bring them in the house share them with friends this is Julia Child well we leave you today with a, a very tiny but very beautiful bloom of a, a new rose that was planted in our garden called Coretta Scott King. I had the great honor and privilege of, um, of dedicating a bed of, of these roses with uh, Mayor William Bell here in Birmingham last weekend um, in advance of the Birmingham Rose Show to commemorate the 50 Years Forward project that's going on here in Birmingham where we are commemorating 50 years of the Civil Rights Movement here in this city. We planted these roses not only in memory of Coretta Scott King, but in memory of all those who still struggle for freedom today. I want to thank you for joining us for today's Garden Walk. I invite you to join me online at redneckrosarian.com.